there's a statewide mandate that requires everyone to wear a face mask if they're out, if they're in a store, or just grabbing a bite to eat, but there's a number of people who just refuse to wear one, right? So professors at Duke University are breaking down why there's resistance to the mandate. CBS 17's Jamie's Price joining us live. Jamie's, what's the reasoning behind this? According to those experts, they say this is a psychological aspect to it. There's some psychological reasons behind all of this. These experts say people view these public health guidelines as a threat to their freedom, these mask mandates. They view them as a, a threat to their freedom, and they will go to great lengths to not follow those guidelines. Gavin Fitzsimmons, a professor of marketing and psychology at Duke University, says most people want a choice, and when they feel like they don't have it, uh, there's a backlash, and we're seeing that play out with some people in our communities who just refuse to follow the mask mandate. Professor Fitzsimmons says the way we communicate that public health message is also critical. Using negatively valence terms to describe people who are not following the guidelines, it, I, my personal opinion is that is not going to be productive. You can't shame someone who is uh, defending a freedom that they value uh, into not defending that freedom. He says the language that we use will make a huge difference in how some people respond and cooperate with those public health guidelines like the mass mandate, the statewide one, and the one here in Raleigh. In Raleigh, Jimmy Fry, CBS 17 News.